Are you wanting to scale your business with digital products? I'm Becky Beach and I've grown a million dollar digital product empire that earns me passive income while I sleep, eat, and play. Join me each week as we grow our digital product businesses together. This is The Becky Beach Show. Hey everybody, welcome to The Becky Beach Show. I'm Becky Beach and in today's episode we're going to be discussing how to stand out with your digital product when there's so many free alternatives out there. A lot of times there'll be free alternatives to your products out there and your customers may gravitate towards them instead of use your products. So we're going to discuss how you can make your paid product stand out among the free one. And the reason why free products are so appealing is they're free and they lower the barrier to entry and they allow people to try something new without any risk. But free doesn't always mean that it's better. Free, you know, sometimes come with limitations such as like lower quality, lack of support, or an insufficient depth. Like you never know if the person offering the free product, you know, has really done that. Maybe they're just wanting content for YouTube. So they'll put out a video on how to do something for free, but you don't even know if that's the best way or that that's a tried and true way to do it. In order to get people to watch their video, they usually will do a lot of clickbait titles. And then the, the method won't even be tried and true. It'll just be something fake. And they could even show like fake screenshots in their in their video to get people to be on board for this. And they just want to increase viewership to their YouTube channel. So this can be a problem for those that are that actually have tried and true methods that they're trying to get money for and, and teach people. So your goal as a paid seller, you should always highlight the value and benefits that your product offers beyond what's available for free. And when I first started digital products, you know, there's just so many free tutorials available on like YouTube. I realized that my students were willing to pay for structured content, support, and the insurance of quality with tried and true methods. And they wanted a streamlined learning experience without sorting through the countless videos out there. And by focusing on these advantages, I was able to carve out a successful niche for my paid courses because these free courses are just scattered everywhere and, and everybody's you know showing something different in these free courses and you don't know if they're actually tried and true or someone's actually done this and seen results because you can end up wasting a lot of time. A way to persuade people against getting just free stuff all the time and just to say that you're wasting time by going through all these free methods that you don't know if they're actually tried and true. You don't know if the creator has actually done this because they're just putting out there for free in order to get clickbait over on their video and to get, they may, they probably even monetize their video. So when you watch the video, they get paid money and they can just put anything out there. It doesn't even matter if it's been done and worked for them or, or you just never know. So what I like to do is I like to add value beyond free. So this is what I do. I'll offer exclusive content, I'll actually content that's unique and it's not available elsewhere. I usually will do deep dives, you know, case studies as to how it's worked for me in my courses and it worked for other people and even people that have taken the course. And I'll do high quality produ- production with my video. I actually use Camtasia to edit my video or have a, a, an editor edit the video for them and they're, people are willing to pay for top quality videos instead of just anything they can get online for free which you don't even know if it will work or not. It could be very low video quality. And also we'll offer resources in the course such as templates and they get workbooks, guides, and other things that will complement the main product. A lot of times in my, in my product, I'll offer PLR templates that people can re- customize and resell as their own. I sell PLR templates in my shop, plrbeach.com. So I have all these, all these templates that I've used in the store and I'll put them in the course a lot of times or offer Canva templates that you can download and workbooks in there because you can make a workbook easily with AI. I'll put a link to how to create a workbook with AI in the show notes. You can add this workbook to your course. And then you need to do like structured learning. Like for courses, you know, a step-by-step learning path is good for a course. And that could include like clear objectives, you know, progress tracking in a cohesive curriculum. And you also want to provide support for your course. A lot of these uh, free courses you see online, like on free YouTube videos, like there's no way to get in touch with the creator on YouTube. You can't comment, but you never know if they'll respond, especially if their channel is really big with plenty of subscribers. They might not even see the question of the people posting. So if you're offering a paid product, you can offer support that is personalized to the person. When they send you an email, you can respond and or you can have your VA respond to their email and offer support to their questions. And another thing you can do is provide community access, like maybe a Facebook group that they get with the course. And that way they can interact and they can share experiences and they can support 
other people that are also taking the course. You can also do like a Discord server or a form or a number of things. And another thing that's good about paid products and courses is their regular updates. You should keep your content fresh and relevant by providing regular updates and new material. And that just ensures your product remains valuable over time. Like I'll do updates to my courses when I find a method that works better for me. I'll go into my course and update it. And someone offering free content, there's no benefit for them to update the free content because they've already gotten money from the views or whatever else they were trying to get out of it. So why would they go back and update it? So there's a lot of outdated free content out there that's not working, or maybe it did at one time, but it no longer works. So like when someone just looks at free content all the time, they're just wasting their time because they don't know if that content still works or what. But with someone that's doing paid content, then a lot of times they'll do updates to the paid content. Of course, there are people that offer paid courses that never update their courses. Like you want to stay away from those people, always um, search Facebook groups. Like go to a Facebook group for like business owners and you could search for the course in the Facebook group. You can see what other people's thoughts are on the course. Like never rely on blog posts because a lot of times they'll do affiliate posts and the affiliate posts, they'll get money. So of course they're going to say something positive about the course, even if there's not really nothing positive about it. So you gotta be really, uh, you gotta be really careful about that. So I always check Facebook groups that I'm in to see if other people have taken the course because there's no incentive for them to get an affiliate commission because they they won't post an affiliate link in the in their response. They'll just post their feelings and thoughts about the course. And the other thing you can do is uh, do effective marketing strategies to get people to purchase your course instead of get stuff for free. What I would do is I'm um, showcase testimonials and success stories on your sales page. So you want to share that other people have taken the course. And if no one has taken the course, you can always share testimonials about your past courses and trainings. Because when I come out with a brand new course that no one has taken yet, I'll put like testimonials of, of people getting results from my past courses or success stories of, of their, my past courses to show that I'm a legit course creator. You can also offer free trials or samples because what I did with my latest course is I gave out some free access to my affiliates and to others that are in my group so that they may take the course and I asked them to give me a testimonial that I'm going to place on my sales page in return. And you always want to create like compelling sales pages. You want your sales page to clearly communicate the benefits and value of your product. You should use engaging copy of strong visuals and highlights what sets your products apart from the competition and also from these free products out there. And you can also utilize email marketing. Like I've built an email list and I use it to nurture leads with valuable content. I give special offers and updates about the course and down below where it says unsubscribe, I make sure to put like, if you unsubscribe, you won't receive any more updates that prevents like more people from unsubscribing. Cause if they unsubscribe, they won't get any updates or notifications about anything that has changed in the course or updated. I update my courses when I find out another strategy that's been helping me. I'll just, I'll just put it in the course a lot of times and I'll notify everybody that has purchased the course. So if you unsubscribe, you don't receive that notification. You, don't, you won't know if there's an update. So email marketing is a very powerful tool for converting prospects into paying customers. Like people will join your list for a freebie. So you get like a freebie offer for people to opt into your list. And then from there, you start promoting paid products to them. You wanna know how to get your list to buy from you. I recommend checking out my course, Coffee Talk Emails. I'll have a link to it in my show notes. You should also leverage social proof. You need to display reviews, ratings, and user generated content to show that others find your product valuable. Like that's all he's really important to do and maybe even case studies that would help them. You can offer limited time discounts or bonuses. Like I'm always offering bonuses at least three or more to my course. And you can also do a fast action bonus. Like when someone signs up, they immediately get a, like a bonus. It's only offered for a few days, maybe the first few days of the course being open. You can give a fast action bonus. And that way when they join, they'll join right away. They won't wait because a lot of people will wait to the last minute when the sale's about to end because they procrastinate. They don't know if it's right for them. They're on the fence. Another thing you can do is you can build a brand that stands out. Like you need to define your unique mechanism. My unique mechanism is I was a UX designer for 20 years. So all of my products are very user friendly. And that, that's my unique mechanism that I feel that helps me stand apart from the competition is because I know how to design products. I was a UX product designer for Fortune 500 companies like American Airlines, Verizon. I worked at the 7-Eleven headquarters tenant healthcare and more places and they're you on their UX teams. So I know how to create a product that sells. And maybe you're, you have other things in your background that could help you. Like maybe you were a teacher for many years. You could put that, 
or maybe you are on the marketing team at your your past position you can put that you could or maybe you were doing IT and you you're very technical so that can help you stand apart too your technical background just just whatever you always have unique experiences in your life that could help you stand apart from the competition and also you need to do consistency like my brand is very consistent I kind of go for like a beach relaxing theme in my branding my husband was my husband is named Marcus Beach you know so my name used to be Duff before I got married so I've really adopted the beach name. And before I even got married, my whole house was just full of beach stuff. My favorite place was going to the beach. And I had all this nautical decor. And I still have some of the nautical decor in my house. And we have a sign above our entryway that says beach house. So uh, I really have embraced the beach look and lifestyle. So I put that in my brand. And I have maintained a consistent brand voice style and messaging across all platforms. You really need to focus on your messaging and be very consistent with it in your branding. And I, I also have a family brand called mombeach.com. It's a family blog. And I do not allow any adult themes on this blog. It's all family friendly. And that's part of the branding. And I've had people ask to ask me to link to like gambling sites, you know, like drug use and all kinds of things like that. But I decide not to. And there's even brands that have wanted to sponsor my blog, but they had adult themes in their in their messaging, and that was against my family blog's messaging. So I said no, even though they're offering multiple thousands of dollars. I wanted to maintain my consistent brand, MomBeach.com, which is very family friendly. So I decided not to go with them. And the other thing you want to do is engage with your audience. You need to be active on social media. You need to respond to comments and messages. And you want to build rapport with your audience. Like I'm very active on social media. I maintain an Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Like I have a Facebook group with, with almost 3,000 people in it. Like a big Facebook community. I really need to do a podcast on building a Facebook community or other community. Because that really helps me earn more money and engage with my audience. Because always, because it's always good to have a community built around your brand. So you can actually get to know customers. And a lot of times I'll Facebook friend my customers and get to know them more. I'll, I'll reply on their posts that they, they put on my wall and I'll respond to their messages over Facebook because this just fosters loyalty and helps you understand your customers' needs better. And another thing that's important is deliver on your promises. You should ensure your product delivers on the promise made in your marketing. And that builds trust and encourages repeat purchases. Like you don't want to lie about your product. You know, it does something that it doesn't do. That could cause you a lot of trouble because people could do a chargeback on Stripe or a dispute on PayPal. And that could really ruin your reputation on both of those platforms. If you have constant refunds and everything on there and chargebacks, if someone does a chargeback on Stripe, that costs you $20 extra. So you really want to make sure your sales page reflects what's exactly in your product. So if I'm doing a course, I'll list what's in each module on the sales page so they know what they're getting. And I, I do not allow refunds because when someone buys a digital course, they cannot return it because they get the videos and all the material in there. Like there, there could even be commercial use digital products they can immediately resell as their own and make money with. So it makes no sense for me to go ahead and give refunds when they could resell the content. They've already downloaded it most likely. So you really want to watch out for that because there's all these freebie seekers out there. A lot of times they will ask for a refund if you're giving a money back guarantee to your product. So just be careful. And I, I know that competing with free digital products is challenging, but it's not impossible. You need to focus on the unique value that you can offer. You need to effectively market your product and build a strong brand so you can stand out in the crowded marketplace. And you know, many people, they, they are willing to pay for quality, convenience, and the insurance of support and community. They're not, a lot of people aren't there to get free things only. There are many people that will invest in what you have to offer. So don't be dissuaded against offering a paid product when there's so many free stuff about your topic. People will pay for an organized course about the topic. They won't just go out there and just get all the free stuff. Because you can also put that in your messaging on your sales page. They could be outdated or not be tried and true methods. So you can put that in your messaging on your sales page. And that would really help persuade people to purchase when there's lots of free content already on the internet about your topic. But you have a unique perspective. You, your perspective is unique on this topic and nobody else has this perspective. You are unique. And you can't get that for free anywhere. It's only if you're, pay, if you're having people pay for this unique perspective on a topic, 
then you just, you just can't find that anywhere else. So you can also put that in your messaging and you could say your expertise, like what your background is, you know, how your perspective on this is better than just getting something free out there that, that, that could not even be a tried and true method. It could be just anything just to get clickbait on a video. You just never know. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Becky Beach Show. Make sure to check out the show notes at beckybeachshow.com and check out my membership, businessbeachclub.com. And this membership, which has been going on for three years, you get a commercial use digital product bundle each month. You also get access to over 20 of my courses on sales, marketing, and creation of digital products. And you also get access to a $7 sale and bundle each quarter. And there's a private Facebook group as well with many people in there that are all sharing their business advice. I also have Business Beach Club Pro that has four coaching calls a month. And you also get unlimited Voxer and email coaching from me. Check out the show notes at BeckyBeatShow.com and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye! Thanks so much for listening to The Becky Beat Show. Please check out the show notes at BeckyBeatShow.com and my membership, BusinessBeachClub.com to start and scale your own digital products business. Have a great day. See you next time on The Becky Beat Show.